Hey, what's going on guys? So, you know, I just did a video about my trip to the Southeast Game Exchange and it was fantastic. But as I said in that video, there was one pit stop I made on the way down to the Limited Run Games retail store. And I'll tell you what, it was amazing. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I do a lot of unboxings and I do a lot of Limited Run Games unboxings. So the opportunity to go check out the store was great. It was on the way down. So it's actually kind of an hour out of the way, but either way, I'm gonna show you guys what the store was like when I got to go and some of the cool stuff I picked up. So the Limited Run Retail Store is amazing. It's super cool, super like retro when you walk in, a lot of neon. Uh, it has like that bowling alley style carpet. I mean, I was in love with this place as soon as I walked in. Uh, when you do walk in and you turn immediately right, they have like a claw grabber machine where you can get some like plushies or other like neat Limited Run uh, related things uh, also they have like some of their store specific merch like you know the shirt i was wearing some other shirts skateboard decks uh, stuff like that isn't really a game but is something cool you could get uh you know in, in the realm of gaming um but then it goes right into like some of their uh you know kind of partnered items and i'm actually gonna slow it back down right here I just realized while rewatching this vi this footage, and this is gonna drive me crazy, I pre-ordered and got the Astro City uh, Mini and the controller uh, way back when they came out. I even did unboxings on the channel, but I really wanted to get that freaking stand and the little chair thing that you set them on, and I totally, totally forgot. I saw them, and I'm looking at the footage now, and I saw them in the footage, I saw them when I was there, and I remember when I was filming this, I was like, man, I need to get this long shot, but I need to go back and grab that afterwards, and I totally freaking left it on the shelf. Ah, uh, I'm kicking myself big time. But besides that, they have a whole bunch of other stuff that, you know, they had on their site at one point or another. Um, stuff that's really great, like wireless controllers. In fact, Brian picked up one of the wireless Saturn controllers. They have all sorts of different, like, collector's editions and stuff that they had, um, like, partnership type deals with. Um, you know, the Game Boy recreations, all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, one thing to note, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's limited run games. You know, what the heck, uh, you're supposed to only have so much. You know, with a business, just to, just to kind of put it in perspective for you, with a business, you have to have extra stock, right, in case something's wrong. And that's what this is. So it's like they, you know, let's say that they had 2,000 of a game. Then they had to buy, you know, I don't know, 2,100 or something in case 100 of them were jacked up. And then after like a decent period of making sure that everyone's orders are fulfilled, they take the extras and put them in the shop. So if you're ever wondering, that's how this and other stores like that work. But other stuff they have here that's really cool, um, they actually have a spot where you can trade in your own used games or even sealed games, um, stuff that they didn't carry, but you know, like a regular game store, like, you know, just going into like your local game store um, back home or whatever, which I thought that was really cool because you could also trade in stuff for credit and then get limited run games with them. Uh, they had their PC titles, all sorts of stuff. I mean, I could really just go on and on about all the stuff they had, obviously. And, and that's what I'm gonna kinda do. I'm just gonna kinda go through and show the footage. You know, some of their cool, like, additions, their PC stuff, like I said, some of their, um, like, blister pack games. Uh, I ended up getting something from over here, in fact, a, a soundtrack um, that came with a special edition that I didn't get the special edition of. But, you know, other than that, of course, they had some Vita games. Um, they, uh, not very, very many Vita games, of course, because they're running, you know, out on that. But then the Switch section was huge, and of course, I had to make a purchase there. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny, though, because I, I pretty much stay on top of the limited run game stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that they had, I ended up, you know, I have already bought <laughs> and received. Uh, but, you know, I did keep an eye out for some games that I didn't get the chance to get, or maybe I passed on them not knowing how good they were. And I ended up making a good purchase. But, you know, besides the loose, um, I say loose, the non-collector's edition games, they have collector's edition games, uh, and a ton of them. Quite obviously, uh, you know, a lot of the recent stuff is what's going to show up here because the more rare, older stuff would have either already gone out or been purchased by people who got to go to the shop before. But, you know, besides the Switch, their other big thing is, of course, PS4, and they have plenty and plenty of PS4 games uh, and collector's editions, of course. Um, last but not least, I do want to talk about one thing they have that's really cool. They have, like, these cool section where they have books 
and vinyl and even like trading cards and stuff from all over time it seems uh, and I ended up getting some of those for um, myself so really without further ado let's check out the stuff I got and uh, and even open up some of the cards I ended up getting because I do think it's gonna be kind of fun to show uh, that part of my journey Okay, so this is the haul that I got from the Limited Run Games retail store. Got a shirt because I had to. Um, this is the River City Girls like PAX uh, special like soundtrack, but it's like the Nintendo Box Edition, which is cool because I have like just the game, so now I have the game and the soundtrack. Neon Abyss is a game that I slipped on and I was like really upset because you know now resellers are like going crazy with it. But at the store, they had a couple copies and they were for like actual the price it's supposed to be. Um, then of course I got this really cool uh, Sega Saturn 25th anniversary sticker, a Windjammers pen, which you know me, I love pens. But uh, the last thing I got was I hit that nostalgia wall pretty hard, and I it was hard for me to just get one of like these things. But I got uh, you know uh, some Dot Hack cards, some Mega Man Battle Network cards, this Zelda thing, and Crazy Bones. Like I have not seen these since I was a freaking kid, so. I'm going to open these up like right now uh, and, uh, and we're going to see what I got. Let me let me put the phone in a stand. A stand didn't work, so I have Brian helping me out. <laughs> so, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's start with crazy... No, we'll do the crazy bones last. Let's start with Mega Man Battle Network because I love me some Mega Man Battle Network. I don't know anything about any of these, by the way. I think these are probably like for legitimate card games, but I don't care. I just like these IPs and want to see what I get. So on the Mega Man front, we got Heat. Spiky. Uh, don't know. This is from the second game, but I don't know what it is. This is just some dude. So I guess this is obviously from a game, but I guess you could play this as a card game. But these are actual chips. So Boomer, Mocha Run, and Blizzard. Those are all, why did I get two of these? Snake Man, that's kind of cool. Got two of these and uh, Grab Revenge, so like I said, I just got these because I like Mega Man Battle Network. Uh, out of all these cards, the only one that I personally think is cool is Snake Man. <laughs> but you know, whatever. I didn't know what I was going to get when I got these and I got what I got and that's what you get. So let's do Dot Hack. Once again, I'm probably going to assume this is for an actual game that you would actually play, but I'm just getting these because I like Dot Hack, so I want to see what the, what the characters are. This one opens kind of weird. Damn, or it doesn't open at all. All right, dot hack. Oh God. So these are gonna be. <laughs> all right. I got gold goblin boots. That's fun. Uh, this is just a card. These like <laughs> these are goofy. Why did I buy these? Um. Hmm. Uh. Cool. Oh, this is actual enemy from the game, I guess. These, uh, oh, I got, if you loved, if you loved, where'd they go? If you loved Goblin Boots, you're gonna love, uh, Snow, Snow Panther. <laughs> Alright, well these, uh, I'm not gonna lie, were disappointing. <laughs> that hack was not, uh, I mean, I, like I said, I guess, like, if I played whatever the actual card game is, this would be cooler. I was just kind of hoping for cool, like, pictures. But I think that's what I get here with Zelda. So these are, like, obviously these are for some kind of game. I don't know what the packaging says, you know, battle ready cards. These Zelda ones though, it says trading cards. So trading cards to me is like art. And you get six cards and one decal or a tattoo from five Zelda games. Look out for gold foils. So this one's gonna be more fun, I think. So let's see what we get. Ow, come on now. I don't wanna like tear it too bad. There we go. So, I guess this is the decal. Oh, they're fun tattoos. And look, it's the Master Sword and like two, one and a half hearts. And oh, here's the cards. So, uh, oh yeah, um, Rav Ravo, Ravio from, uh, what's that, Link Between Worlds? Skull Kid, that's kind of cool. I don't know what Irene's from. Oh, it actually tells you which game is in the corner. So it's also Link Between Worlds. Uh, Shadow Link from Link Between Worlds. Uh, oh cool, Ocarina of Time, Sheik's Guidance. Teach me how to play some instrument action. And they have little descriptions on the back. And this one's the Scattershot from uh, Skyward Sword. 
that's kind of cool. Uh, there's a couple in here that I really like. Like, I really, really like the Skull Kid one, and I really, really like this one, but that's also the two that I really grew up with. I'm um, not saying the others aren't as cool, but, you know, what you gonna do? Last but not least, this is just purely nostalgia for me because I played with these a lot in elementary school. Crazy Bones, come on. Like, if you played this, you know what's up. And also, if you did play this, you know that we are on Eggy Alert. Eggy's the rare one. Let's see what we got, Crazy Bones. We got, I don't know any of these names, but I do remember what these look like. And none of these are Eggy. <laughs> but, check it out. <laughs> I don't know why I bought these, but damn, they're fun. There's a card in here. What is this? Oh, it's a thing that has all the, all of them, and it's in a sticker book. Interesting. These were the stupidest toys ever. Like, you set them up, and if I remember correctly, you like, the goal was to flick them and knock over the other guys, or something like that. I don't know. There's like five different games you played with them. But, you know, this is, fifth grade me would have been really happy to open these up. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, everything from, uh, everything I got from Limited Run. So that was some of the cool stuff I got and the store itself. Like I said, the people who worked there were amazing. I had some of the best conversations I've had in quite a while when it comes to just like talking game stuff with people, uh, you know, like-minded people. Um, one thing that, you know, I wish I could have stayed there even a little longer to talk and hang out with those guys, but uh, they had to work and I had to go to the convention. But hey, what'd you guys think? Uh, was there anything cool in the store that you saw that jumped out at you? Something that maybe I should have got or something that maybe you'll go down there and try to get? Or uh, do you want to just chastise me in the comments for uh, skipping out on the Astro City thing that I accidentally forgot to go back and buy? But hey, that is a... Uh, is uh, the store itself and I hope you guys enjoyed this cool uh, kind of view of it. That's gonna do it for us today guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. It'd be fantastic. But as always my friends, take it easy.